What is poppin' calisthenics fam? My name is Brennan Myers and today we're gonna be discussing the five reasons why you can't lean bulk. All right, so let's just jump right into it. I really want to paint a perfect path for you to not only lean bulk and build that incredible lean defined muscular body, but also to increase your raw strength. And there's five mistakes that I see every single day and the questions come flowing in and I answer them specifically to these five specific mistakes. So number one, what is it? And this is the biggest mistakes that I see every single day. You try to eat everything, but stay within a 500 caloric surplus. And what I'm saying by this is that in order to build lean muscle, in order to build muscle or weight in general, you have to be in a caloric surplus, right? So if your maintenance weight is 2,500 calories per day, now you're going to be consuming 3,000 calories per day. But this does not mean just eat whatever junk pizza, uh, a bunch of nasty cereals and all these, just things that are not good for you that are just gonna pack on pounds because that will come with a lot of fat. So what do you need to be doing? To keep off that fat and to really build lean muscle, you have to have a specific macro and micronutrient content in your body to really increase this lean muscle. So you gotta work off of a specific ratio that I generally tell everybody to follow and that is 50% carbohydrates in your diet, 30% proteins, 20% Fats. Remember, this is off of the full caloric intake that you're consuming per day. Now, you can make adjustments as you go and as needed. Obviously, you might not adjust as well to carbohydrates or fats. It's all up to how your body reacts, okay? But even more important is your micronutrients. This is where people go wrong. They're like, oh, I'm just gonna get my macros and eat bad, but I'm not gonna hit the micros that I really need. So things that I want you to focus on, vitamin C. This will enhance recovery. Remember, if you're just building a lot of muscle, you're trying to work out as hard as you can, but you're not recovering properly, how are you gonna build that lean muscle specifically to what you want. It's gonna be a lot harder, right? Uh, second is going to be vitamin E. This is an antioxidant. It strengthens your immune system, prevents oxidation of bad cholesterol, and aids in performance. So make sure you're taking that vitamin E. Also, you have magnesium. This is something that a lot of people lack. This will regulate muscle and nerve function and affects bone and heart health. Remember, long term is what we want, not short term. And then finally, and remember, I'm just giving you a few different tips for you to take today, electrolytes. And you know, you might be thinking, oh, well, I need to get a Gatorade. No, try and stay away from Gatorades as much as you can. If you read what's in the actual bottle, you won't want to drink it anymore, trust me. So try and drink like a smart water, or just electrolyte water. It's, it's everywhere. You can find it at Vons, uh, Publix, wherever your local grocery store is. This really has an effect on your muscle contractions. Remember, if you're not optimally um, contracting your muscles, it's going to have an overall effect on how to build lean muscle if you can't overcome certain resistances and work at the level that you want. It'll just take longer. That's all I'm saying. Now, number two. This is another big mistake. You're not sure what to do each day and you're not being consistent. Remember, consistency is key. Every day you look at your body, right? But when you look at your body, yeah, typically we second guess ourselves. And this is something that will hold us back. Maybe one day you feel like you're gaining too much fat, so you eat less. And then you feel like you're getting weak, so you try and work out more. But this is a huge problem because you could injure yourself, you could overtrain, you could knock yourself back, and then you have to eat a certain amount to get back to where you were. It's going to mess with your metabolism as well, and we do not want that. So set short-term realistic goals. Don't expect to build 10 pounds of muscle in a week. We know that's not possible. Now, number three. What's well, another big mistake? You expect to only build lean muscle if done in a short amount of time. And this means, you know, uh, like, hey, I can gain, just like I just said, 10 pounds in a week, two, two weeks, three weeks. That's not the case. Remember, to gain a couple of pounds per month, you have to be following the specific strategies that I'm talking about in all of my videos, the nutritional videos. You have to be following them because if not, you, you won't build lean muscle per month. Novices can gain a little bit more than just a couple of pounds per month, but generally it's 0.5 pounds per week. For me, you, maybe you're, you're intermediate, a little bit more advanced, so you gotta remember that. And you gotta stop eating a bunch of crap. This would just get you fat. We do not want that. So just take all that away, 
take it month to month and remember that this is a long term goal. Now, when it comes to this mistake, you gotta remember that when you are eating bad foods, you are trying to build as much muscle as possible, as quickly as possible, and you're trying to just like not listen to what I said about macros, because let's face it, a lot of us just ignore that fact and just, ah, oh, no, I don't, Brandon, I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm gonna address this either way. You know, when you increase fat storage, often attributes to adding more fat cells, which means or your body fat is going to drastically fluctuate well, what's happening here well it affects your hormones and your overall metabolism so we do not want to mess with just trying to eat a bunch trying to bulk 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 and then lean down really really quick because it's actually going to take a longer amount of time we have to be realistic and say okay do I want my metabolism to always fluctuate because of the way I'm training the way I'm eating all the time no stick to one thing now, number four, huge mistake. Your lifestyle is hurting you, and that's the truth. You're not sleeping seven to nine hours every single night. You're not stretching four days per week. Remember, this helps with strength and lean muscle gains long term. We don't want just short term results, we want long term. You're not allowing your body to recover. Your body's always working. How does it have any time to recover? It doesn't have time. And you know, something that I really want you to focus on during these lifestyle changes is just more high intensity, higher resistance exercising. Stop with the isolation, focus more on compound movements. And finally, switch up your fad diets. That's just something that I see all the time. Like, why would you go from intermittent fasting to keto, to low carb, to high carb, to high protein? Like, all of these different fad diets that you keep on following every two weeks and switching up are really, really affecting the way you're going to lean bold. Just focus on the simple things. What is proven, what is here right now that you can follow quickly and get results short amount of time, remember. Uh, and then the fifth mistake that you're making, and I, I would like to say that this isn't a complete mistake. You can achieve a body without this, but this would just only speed up your results and see differences in your body long term. And I keep on saying long term because it's so, so important. So number five is you're not incorporating body weight workouts. Whether you love the gym or not, you keep your muscles stimulated by various body weight movements. And remember, the gas theory is all about switching it up. Gas theory is your general adaptation syndrome or theory, whatever you want to call it. And it's basically where, and I'm getting attacked by bug, bugs right now, it's basically where you start off with a resistance, right? Or you start off with a specific way of training and you get alarmed and your body can't really adjust. But after a couple of weeks, it adjusts to those, that type of training and now you really build that muscle. So if you're always incorporating different types of exercises and workouts into your full strategy, whether it's linear periodization, undulating periodization, you will start to see that, oh wow, this has a huge effect on not only my muscular endurance, my hypertrophy, but my strength and my power, which, obviously attributes to your lean muscle over time, lean bulking. So, you know, they're extremely, extremely beneficial to you. And whether you don't need to go to the gym or whether you do need to go to the gym, you know, you can incorporate them in supersets with heavy weighted movements um, in the gym, or you can do it at your house, at the park, whatever. It just adds a different exercise that works your muscles in a different way. That's what's so awesome about it. So these are the five biggest mistakes that I believe you can take right now and transform this lean bulk phase that you want to go through. And actually, I don't even want to call this lean bulk. I just want to call it building a lean, defined muscular body with raw strength, because that's what we really want in the end, right? We want this body that we can look in the mirror and say, hey, I'm proud of it. Now let's keep on rolling through. It's a long-term goal. It's gonna take time. Be patient. Don't think it's gonna just build 10, your body's gonna build 10 pounds of muscle in one month. It doesn't work that way. A couple pounds a month, and you'll be right where you need to be. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Five mistakes that you could be taking right now. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Comment down below. Give me some video ideas, or just hashtag Calcetics. Calcetics fam, we're here growing every single day. Transformations are coming into my email all day. It's, it's incredible feeling. Again, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Peace.